Hi everyone, welcome back to Pause to Read. Today we're gonna to be reading a very special story be called Rescue and Jessica, A Life-Changing Friendship. This book was written by Jessica Kemsky, who's actually the main subject of the, of the story, and Patrick Downs. In this story, we follow Rescue, who is a dog in training to become a service dog, and we follow him along as he makes a new friend, Jessica, who has recently had both of her legs amputated. It's a really special friendship, and we learn about the special bond that they develop working alongside each other and helping each other. So why don't we all pull up a chair and get ready to read Rescue and Jessica. On a special farm in the countryside, a pup named Rescue was in training. He was learning to help people who could not see, but he was worried. His trainer had just said, you aren't meant to be a seeing eye dog. That was hard for Rescue to hear. Helping people who can't see was in the family business. The service dog team is better for you, his trainer said. Service dogs work beside their partners instead of in front of them. Will I be a good service dog? Rescue wondered. What will my new partner be like? Will she like me? Rescue didn't want to let anybody down. In a hospital in the city, a girl named Jessica was worried. Both of her legs were badly hurt. Everyone hoped her right leg would heal, but the doctors had to remove part of her left leg so she would be healthy again. You're an amputee now, Jessica, the doctor explained. You have to wear a prosthetic leg or use a wheelchair for the rest of your life. That was hard to hear. She had only ever walked on her own two legs. How will I do things on my own, Jessica wondered. What will I be able to do? Will I be able to walk again? What will my life be like? Her whole family was worried about her, and she didn't want to let anyone down. Back in the country, Rescue was learning how to be a service dog. When he wore his blue cape, that meant he was in training. He had to stay by his partner's side. He fetched all kinds of things. He even learned how to open doors. Rescue, you're a natural, said his trainer. At the hospital, Jessica was learning new ways to do things that used to come easily. She used a wheelchair to get around. She practiced getting out of bed differently. She put on her prosthetic leg and she could stand. She was learning how to walk again, even though her right leg was still hurt. Jessica, you're becoming strong, said her doctors. Rescue was proud of all that he had accomplished, but he still worried. He was named in honor of a brave firefighter. He had big shoes to fill. Rescue wanted to help people, just like his namesake. Jessica knew she had made a lot of progress, but she was frustrated and sad about things that she still couldn't do. She felt like the changes were too big, too much. One day, a visitor came to see Jessica, and she brought her service dog, Curry. Jessica saw how a smart dog like Curry could help her. That very day, she started filling out the application to ask for a dog of her own. After a while, Jessica had got some very exciting news. Rescue got exciting news too. He also got a new red cape. Finally, the big day arrived. It's nice to meet you, Rescue, said Jessica. She looks so nice and so pretty, Rescue thought. Rescue stood up very tall. He hoped she didn't notice that his legs were trembling. But his wagging tail gave him away. Jessica smiled a big smile and laughed a big laugh for the first time in a very long time. Jessica and Rescue stayed in the country for a few weeks and Rescue showed her all of the things that he could do. You're amazing, Jessica said to Rescue. You think I'm amazing? Rescue thought, I think you're amazing. Back in the city, Resca, Rescue and Jessica used, got used to working together. Rescue brought her things that she needed. He opened things that were hard to reach. Rescue barked if Jessica needed someone. If she tripped, he would hold steady so she could get right back up. Rescue and Jessica were always together, but she didn't need his help. When she didn't need his help, Rescue really liked to sleep. Jessica knew that even though Rescue was special, he was a regular dog too. She made sure that Rescue had playtime every day. But Jessica still wasn't completely healthy. One day her doctor told her that her right leg would have to be removed. Two, she would need to wear two prosthetic legs. 
This didn't get any easy for Jessica to hear. The night after the doctor removed part of her right leg, Rescue knew just what to do to help Jessica all on his own. Looks like he's just giving her a hug. Rescue and Jessica had to start all over again. Slowly but surely, they learned how to do all of the things that they needed to do together. They did chores together, they played together, and snuggled together. For the first time in a long time, Jessica felt happy, and that made Rescue happy too. You changed my life, Rescue, she said. I couldn't have done this without you. I'm so proud of us, he thought. You rescued me, Rescue, she said. But the truth was, they had rescued each other. The end. A really amazing story about how both dog and human have to work together to make things the best that they can and also become friends along the way. We hope you enjoyed this special version of Pause to Read. Have a nice day.